We're back. I'm just telling them I can get these on here. Bare Bones Broadcast, Norwood South Poly. Hello, how are you? I'm not. Radio broadcasting. I just kick around. I've watched other broadcast hosts do it. Told for years and overheard for years and listened for years. I listened to radio for years. You don't listen. I've listened for years. I listen up here. I listen out here. I listen in here. I listen. Does this talk? Does touch talk? Well, I listen to it. The smell talk? I listen to it. It has hours of conversation. Smell. I listen to it. You? Hours and hours I've talked to smell. Hours I've talked to ear. Hours I've talked to eyes. I've talked to that content. I listen to what it says. That content. I talk back and forth with it. Do you? Why not? What's it for? It's to talk to. With. Grow with. Mature with. That was for. Eat it. Drink it. All right. Poop it. Sweat it. Joy it. Glee it. Do what you are with it. Experience it. Die. Happy that you got to do it. Period. Food, clothing, shelter. How did that become such an issue? Stingy is how that became an issue. Your worst enemy is lock and key, not gunpowder. Nuclear is probably the worst fuel there is. The waste product is acidine. Now, lock and key is worse. Has a worse effect. Stingy is the worst affecting thing with the globe. In the absence of honesty and generosity, you got stingy, I'll tell you what. It eats like teeth. Cha 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 cha. Yeah, it does. Please picture it. Experience what else is here also. Lovely, my God. Spend some time with three year old children before you die. You'll not want you want about an addiction? Get around three year old kids. Even the worst of you, there's just no goddamn way you can stay a pervert. To me, I'd force all perverts and weirdos and killers to spend time with three-year-old children. Let's see if you stay the same. There's no way. They'll challenge every idiot about you. And sooner or later, you'll change. Back to where you were when you were three. Was there ever a problem? That was a problem. You were responding to a problem that wasn't there. The whole time. What about? Where'd I get that, I wonder? Pondering the Bible. I wonder where I got that. That blasted book haunts me. I hate that book. <laughs> Yeah. Marley had more, I, that Bible's got more ghosts than Marley knows a thing about, and they never leave me alone. I hate the book. <laughs> I hate the book of Jonah. Slumbers not or sleep. Know it. Ponder the book of Jonah and tell me you can sleep. Go on. Remember, the fish that swallowed Jonah never swam in the water, and the Lord doesn't talk through people drawing straws. Keep that in mind as you read the book. It was written in 800 B.C. And it's basically the poetry of acronym. Now, you have to understand what all the acronyms stand for and are representing. Name all those words. Put those words in those acronym tales, and you've got the picture of what that story is about. It's priceless. Probably the greatest adventure in social living you'll ever find. The Book of Jonah.
It's the greatest social book. It makes Song of the South nothing, and both are wonderful stories and books. Now, between Song of the South and Book of Jonah, you tell me you don't understand what's going on here, and I'll tell you, you're an idiot. That is for sure. It'll make everything clear to you. Including yourself. That's the most important thing. You get yourself clear. You're adorable and priceless. Flip up! <laughs> Growling at you. Well, start pondering that some voice will come out of down there somewhere. Yeah, in your mind, down there, talking up, telling you to live up, telling you're adorable. When Lucifer deceives somebody, then tell them they're adorable and live up and wonderful thing to be lovely and, and, and take it out on the Lord instead of humanity. Does Lucifer say, take it out on me, don't take it out on them? The level Lucifer, the, that's what that boy said to me in my mind. Take it out on me, don't take it out on them. You ain't big enough to hurt me. Come on, pound on me, boy. Does your maker tell you that? Why not? My maker demands it, and then I fear no place after I die, because I didn't know where I was going before I got here, and I'm not allowed to worry about where I go when I die at all. If I tried to say any of my life right here, fearing where I'm going to go after I die, my maker says you're a liar and a hypocrite. How about you? I am not allowed to live this, thinking about where I'm going, and come back and live this that way. No! I must respond to my DNA and my genetics as a mammal. Now! Present tense, do and experience what I am. Move! That's my counsel. You think that's the devil? Use the terms to fit here, Lord told me. You agree with that? That's my call from prayer. Ponder it. Please. Then you'll understand me. You might end up like me because I, I find Jesus. Wow, Jesus, now I'm beginning to get a glimpse of you. Wow. Conceptually, of course, that's that long time ago. The only thing you can read the past with is conceptual material in your mind. You cannot take the report. Literally. Can you? Conceptually, you can analyze it and get a picture. That's the best you're going to get. And sometimes that's more accurate than a report because it's 2020 vision. Sometimes you'll understand things they were doing that they didn't. Because you know humanity. And they're doing exactly the same experience as you. Exactly. That it never changes. You're a mammal. Does the mammal change? No, it evolves. It doesn't change. You've never changed. You're not going to change. Evolve. Mature. Evolve and mature. Mature and evolve. Don't change ever. Don't change. You're priceless. 